Hello, I'm Eric Topol, Editor-in-Chief of Medscape, uh, here for one-on-one -on -one with former Vice President Al Gore, and we're going to be talking about the microbiome and what it's like to be a vegan. The microbiome, and yeah. you write about that. Yeah. I know you've been on a vegan uh, uh, kick, a diet, and <laughs> I, have, you, have, you, have you had your microbiome, uh, uh, gut microbiome assessed, or do you think I, that's I all related? I have not. Do you recommend it? Well, some people are starting to do it. Uh, yeah. Obviously, it's having a bigger impact than we ever had anticipated. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of interesting whether that's going to become the norm besides your own sequencing, whether some people, yeah. various conditions, are going to start to look at their, their microbiome. Uh, over a year ago, I changed my diet, really just to experiment to see what it was like. And I, I felt better. And so I continued with it now. Uh, for many people, that choice is connected to environmental ethics and health issues and all this stuff. I just wanted to try it to see what it was like. And on a, in a visceral way, I felt better, so I've continued with it, and I'm, I, I, I'm likely to continue it, that for the rest of my life. And if we had done your gut microbiome sample before and after, I bet it would be dr drastically different, you know? It's really interesting. Uh, probably so. Uh, uh, a friend of mine, I think you know Dr. Larry Smarr? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I, I worked with him in the supercomputer uh, area. He used to run the, the uh, supercomputing center at, at Champaign-Urbana at the University of Illinois. And he's now uh, having his <laughs> microbiome I, I'm uh, tested he has it every all, day the, or something. all the time. He's into it, yeah. But, but here's the thing that interests me most about this, and silly for me to tell you about it, but for those who are listening to our chat, as a layperson, what's most startling to me is that the, the number of cells represented by the bacteria mainly, but viruses and yeasts and, and amoebas in a much smaller percentage, the number of cells in the microbiome are 10x exactly. human cells. Trillion. And yeah. when people first encounter that statistic, they, they think, what? That's, <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah. And, and the fact that uh, part of the gut flora is an active extension of the acquired immune system and, and that we are actually uh, a cooperative uh, uh, life community, only part of a life community. It's, a, it's yet another uh, humbling realization uh, in, in line with uh, what Darwin caused and, <laughs> and uh, others uh, along the way, Copernicus even. Uh, we are part of the web of life more intricately interwoven with it than we have allowed ourselves to realize. And if those cells are 10x ours, we obviously need to spend a lot of time understanding what that relationship is, uh, what it's, how we affect it. Um, and of course, there are lots of examples already uh, where doctors are discovering that this is uh, an amazing oh, new no, dimension. No question about it. We're still probably really in the earliest stages yeah. of it. Thank you.